welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd do a January favourites. I'm hoping to do this monthly. Um, just my favourite products of the month which I've been using a lot or I don't know, I discovered new makeup, maybe some oldies as well, who knows. But I thought I would just do a monthly video and yeah, let you know what my monthly favourites are and maybe if you've tried them already you can let me know in the comments down below what you think of them. So I'm going to start off with palettes. Now there's two specific palettes that I've really been into um, this month, mainly because I got sent them both but also just because they're literally the ones that I haven't stopped using. The first one is this Nikita and Morphe palette. I literally have been obsessed with it. They sent me this at the beginning of the month, um, well in like December actually but they sent me it and it's been so so useful for um, like creating different looks. I mean this like if you pick up this palette you can literally get so much inspiration from it. Uh, I feel like other palettes it's really difficult to kind of find inspiration for different looks but you've got like a bit of every colour in here and you can create like a neutral colour with the first row. You can create like a cam cranberry kind of like festive look with the second row. There's like some creative colours, bright colours, shimmery colours. You've literally got everything in this palette so I feel like I have not put this down since I got it, which um, also the packaging is amazing. I have already done a full review on this palette, so definitely check that out if you want to know more about this one. The other palette, again, is a Morphe one, but this one is a different collection. This is the 35B um, by Lisa Franks. This is the Morphe and Lisa Frank collection. Um, they sent me this one as well. I'm not just showing these because I got sent them. These are literally the two that have been not moved from my makeup desk since I got them. So this one, again, the packaging is amazing, and it's so good that it's like catered to each influencer that they've kind of partnered with so it opens up like this which again is very different to the other one and it's again very colorful which if you haven't noticed they are always going to be mainly my favorite palettes are colorful ones because I'm always loving like creating new looks and you know playing with color and stuff but this one again has got a massive range this one has got more colorful looks colors in rather than natural ones so if you're wanting to do more of a natural look you may struggle with this palette but at the same time if you want to do a colorful look you know I find it very handy when a um, makeup palette has more than one color more than one of one color so for example green you know you've got five six different greens so you can create a really like in-depth green eye look without having to pick up other palettes and not using one or two shades you know you've got a big variety again with the pink and reds and purples and blues you've got a variety of different shades of that color so to me that's like a big must in a palette if I'm doing a colorful look so they are my two palettes of the month that have really stood out to me and I've used a lot something else if we move on to base um <clears throat> One that, I, again, I've been sent this, but this is the Professional Hydrate Primer. Now, I've had the Professional Normal Primer by Benefit before, um, but it was a little bit dry, which I kind of understand why they've done a Hydrate Primer, because when you put it on, it doesn't, it's just dry, and it, it is good, though. So, that's why I was happy that they come out with this one. They did send this to me, um, but... I absolutely love it and I haven't stopped using it since I received it. This one as well, because it's hydrating, literally if you put it on, if you haven't used this already, then you definitely need to try it because it's literally a game changer. If you put it on your skin, you, it will literally hide your pores. And yeah, I love it. That's all I have to say really about it, but it's really good. Um, I have a foundation, one foundation that I have literally not stopped using for the entire month. And that one is the It Cosmetics Your Skin or Better. If you look on my Instagram, you'll see that I use it in nearly every post because they sent me, It Cosmetics sent me three of these. Again, some of these I haven't been sent. It just seems that, you know, most of the makeup I own, I have been sent. So but some of this hasn't been sent to me. So they sent me three of these. Again, I've done a review on YouTube already of this foundation of first impressions from when they first sent it to me. So if you wanna know more about this foundation, then definitely go check out that video. Uh, but this one is, this one is really my shade. This is Fair Warm 12. They have a lot more shades than the last collection, um, which was like a CC primer, uh, CC foundation. But this one is, um, plus skincare in it so it says improves bare skin in two weeks so not only is it like a foundation but it's also doing your skin good instead of making it break out uh, and yeah it's got amazing coverage so the next thing I'm going to talk about is mascara I always struggle to find a very good mascara the last one I had was the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and that one was amazing but this one is the NARS X Climax Extreme and this one is literally so good this is probably the best 
mascara I've used. Um, the applicator is just a, a thick one, um, but honestly, I don't know how, but it makes your lashes so much longer, so much fuller, um, so much like darker. It does everything you want in a mascara, so this might be a bit intense for some people. I guess that's why it's called extreme, but it literally makes your lashes so long. My, my mum thought I had fake lashes on the other day when I was wearing it, so that's a good sign. Something else that I've been using a lot, which I'm actually wearing right now, is the um, Benefit Brow Zings Pro Palette. It looks like these. Uh, it's got like different shades, it's got waxes and powders, it's got two brushes with it as well, a spoolie um, and a mirror so you can literally take this anywhere with you, it's magnetic as well, the packaging is just so cute, this one's in medium to deep um, because I like my brows a bit darker because I have darker hair but they, I, I assume they have different colour palettes um, but they sent me this as well but this one is just they sent me a bunch of other brow, brow products, but I, w I didn't use this one for a while after they sent it to me because it didn't, do it didn't draw me in, but as soon as I started wearing it, I literally haven't stopped, so this one's a goodie. For my everyday makeup looks, I've been literally putting on, like, instead of putting eyeshadow or anything, I've been using these, which I've literally, they change your makeup, your, they change your everyday makeup and just make it look a bit extra like you've put a bit more effort in but you haven't so i use these these are the pixie um endless shade sticks i've got these two they sent me these but this is like a lighter brown this is darker brown but they look like this they're like pencils but if you just all i literally do is color my eyelid in get a brush like a fluffy brush just blend it in and that's it and like i can bring it out a little bit more just to like cinch my face a little bit um but you know, these are just really, really good for just a bit of added colour to your eyelids. If you don't want to pull out like your bronzer or your eyeshadow palette to add a bit of colour, then these are just good to colour in. You can kind of be messy with it and just blend it in with either your finger or a brush. But I use a brush because I think it's just easier. But they have literally been my go-to. I've worn them pretty much every day when I've not... I've had like an everyday makeup look on something else for more creative makeup looks um are these i've got them in a pot but these are the unicorn cosmetics prismatic pigments these are actually so good i got a lot of them uh i got this purple one here this is like a deeper purple i've got this neon pink neon orange neon yellow and then i got this lighter purple a like pinky white and a gold so they are really good they're good for like neon looks obviously i've like flicked it on my face before to make like a splatter kind of creative look um i've literally got them on now actually i've got the orange one on now to make a liner i actually just added a little bit of water into it and mixed it around and then put it on and it turned into a liner um and as you can see it's very pigmented this is just one stroke per like liner bit so they're very pigmented as well and just super bright and literally do what you need them to do so another thing is a lip product it's the Dragon Beauty Dragon Glass. This one's in Dragon Blood. Uh, this is like a true red. And again, I've done a video on the Dragon Beauty palette and these lipsticks. Because I've never actually used Dragon Beauty before. So I wanted to test it out like first impressions on camera. And I really love this red lipstick. I've got two other shades in this as well. But this one, it's like the perfect red and... It's like not glossy, it's matte, but it's like velvety. It's really, really nice. And yeah, I just haven't stopped wearing this one. Um, if I need a red lip, oh, this is literally my go-to because it feels really nice on your lips as well. It's not like dry, it's not horrible. It feels really nice. Next, we have a setting spray. This is the Jeffree Star and Morphe setting spray. I literally love this and I don't care if it doesn't do anything. I ain't got a clue if it does anything or not. I'll be honest, I haven't tested if it like keeps your makeup on longer or it doesn't or what, but one i love the packaging it smells like strawberries it smells amazing it makes your face feel nice and like refreshing when you put it on i literally use it every single day i kind of wish i bought more i might buy more if they're still in stock but i'm not sure if they are but you know i just love that it's pink it's just cool isn't it i love this i love it and the last one is you may have seen it in my mystery box unboxing from october which was the halloween mystery boxes from jeffree star is this i have not let go of this especially over like the festive season over christmas and everything um it comes in like this this is the extreme frost so it comes in like a jewelry box kind of thing and this is the one i've got this is lick my glit um which is like a super glittery one but this one is super glittery it's like 
it looks different to what it looks like in the pan. It's very like clumpy glitter, but I actually really like it. I'm surprised if I put it on a little bit, you'll literally see it. It's so pigmented, but I just think, I don't know, there's just something about it. I think it's so nice. You see that? Are you kidding me? So that is it. That's my monthly favourites for this month. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like, comment and subscribe. And let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on these products. If there's any that your favourites too for this month or if you haven't tried them or if you want to know more info. And yeah, if my voice sounds weird, by the way, I should have said at the beginning, but I'm a bit bunged up. Uh, my entire family have corona, so I probably have it. Um, but I just don't want to get tested because I'm isolating anyway. So I just don't want to know if I've got it. But yeah, if I sound bunged up, that's why. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!